Zina River Swamp is the largest, most diverse wetland ecosystem in Trinidad and Tobago. It is located on the east coast of Trinidad and, at 44 square miles, is slightly larger than the Mutura National Park. The swamp was designated an environmentally sensitive area by the Environmental Management Authority in 2006. The area is the home to a number of sensitive plants and animals including threatened mam mammals and reptiles. It is the main habitat for the West Indian manatee, which is an EMA-designated environment-sensitive species. One can also find, deep within the swamp, the once locally extinct blue and gold macaw, which was recently reintroduced into the wild after a successful breed and release program, and one of the world's longest snakes, the green anaconda. There is a wide variety of, of species located into the Narava swamp, which range from district forests, district vegetation, swamp forests, and savanna grasses. There is a wide variety of biodiversity within the swamp, such as the white shatain, the, um, the water immortel, the hog plum, and for example, well, our group is uh, presently involved in nursery production, which we provide uh, the plants to supply for um, our groups so that when we're going into the swamp they have their plants to reforest the area. Four main types of vegetative communities exist here. Researchers have recorded four types of marsh forest that occupy different areas within the swamp. The littoral woodland is characterized by species such as sea grape and the tropical or sea almond. Most of this vegetation was removed at the eastern end of the swamp, which was used for cultivation of watermelon and vegetable crops. In addition to the wetland plant communities previously mentioned, the Nariva Swamp contains evergreen seasonal forest. This is composed of trees such as crapplewood, maho, silk cotton and balata. Lianas, epiphytes and palms are also typical within the understory of the forest. The fourth type of vegetative community found in this ESA is the Swamp Forest. This community is composed of mangal, swampwood and palm swamp forests. Mangroves make up the majority of this community and are restricted to the eastern side of the swamp. The palm swamp communities are made up of species such as the royal or palmist palm and the Moorish palm, which exist mainly in the southern half of the swamp. Freshwater swampwood communities occur inland from the mangrove forest and feature swamp bloodwood, wild nutmeg, yellow mang, and swamp immortel. These forests are home to a significant population of local fauna. However, after thriving for centuries, the swamp's ecosystems are under threat from human activities. Small scale vegetable farmers also followed suit and started planting in prohibited areas. In the 1980s, there were illegal rice farming that affected the plants and animals in the swamp and changed the water courses drastically. These land clearing activities removed vital habitat for the swamp's many species. In addition, there was a negative impact on the movement, distribution and quality of water throughout the entire ecosystem. The significance of the Nerva Swamp and its biodiversity has been recognized for many years. In 1968, parts of it were declared a game sanctuary and a forest reserve, and it was recorded as a Ramsar site in 1993 as a wetland of international importance. Additionally, in accordance with the Environmental Management Act, one can be fined up to $100,000 and face imprisonment for up to two years if one commits an offence, as outlined in the EM Act, against an ESA or ESS. These milestones set the pace for the conservation actions that led to the swamp being designated as an ESA in 2006. The EMA is currently coordinating with the University of the West Indies, the Forestry Division and various community-based organizations, including the Plumita Beach Farmers Group, to execute the Narva Swamp Restoration Project for the future of our community and country at large. We have learned so much about this uh, project right now. We are in process of going to schools, giving out lectures, and 
and also we in, in our own homes we are um, trying to let our children know about the importance of the environment and how to keep it clean and safe for each and every one of us. This marks the first phase of a management plan for the area. The project is also guided by a series of studies conducted for the area, including a reforestation scheme, a social impact assessment, a water resources management plan, and an historical change detection analysis. This Narva Swamp Restoration Project is, a, is in keeping with the principle of national environmental policy and convention of biodiversity, climate change and diversification. The aim is to restore and conserve the Nariva wetlands through the recognition of the services it provides as a carbon sink and a biodiverse ecosystem. The EMA plays an important role in public education and awareness of the Nariva Swamp. These strategies take the form of institutional strengthening, training, employment, research initiative, public and school lectures, interviews, media releases, science posters, videos and special publication. We take it in a different approach by bringing persons in our community to our project site so they can be hands-on so in the future they will be able to spread the word about the protection of the swamp and its environment. The Nariva Swamp is an important national resource, especially for the surrounding communities. Its designation as an ESA provides opportunities for sustainable economic and human development for many years to come.